In the meantime, there have been several reactions that continue to trail uh, the rearrest of co convener of Revolution Now movement, Mr. Samuel Ishore, by the DSS during our Sunday politics program. Mr. Malam uh, Garbusche, who insists the presidency is not involved in the DSS rearrest, uh, but pointed out that the presidency believes uh, the account of the Department of State services. I assure you that President Muhammad Buhari is never one to do anything that will tamper with the agreed norm of dealing with the judiciary. He has the highest respect for them. Now, what happened in court on that day is the subject of controversy. Uh, as we are aware that the DSS has issued a statement denying that any of their men was in that team and was involved in that skirmish within and outside the court. And that whatever may have happened may have been done and carried out by the, certainly the DSS saying we are not a part of this. And uh, the fact that the DSS has uh, painstakingly put out the past as they are known to them, we believe them. When the proceedings were going, we got credible information that there was an attempt to rearrest Mr. Shawari and Mr. Bakari. Our lead counsel, Mr. Femi Falana, drew the attention of the learned judge to this attempt to rearrest them. Guess what? The lawyer to the SSS, Dr. Adam Liman, in open court, a senior advocate of Nigeria, denied and told the court that no, there was no such attempt. The officers of the State Security Service, who were inside the courtroom, not outside, dressed in mufti, made moves towards Mr. Showere. Those of them who were armed, some of them who were masked, also made efforts to force him outside of the court. Mr. Shewu, supposing we are conceding that what they are even saying is correct. Even if Shawere had run back into the court, can you arrest him while the judge was still sitting? The answer is no. But what took them to the court is the question they have refused to answer.